Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can insert images into a table and this is any image you like of any size. So let's go to insert, table, click on the drop down. I'm just going to simply select anything really, four rows by four columns and when it's inserted it will look something like this. So if I now go to insert, picture, picture from file. Now if I was to simply insert a picture by clicking on it and inserting it, it won't insert it to the table, it will insert it to the actual document. So what we want to do is drag and drop images. So let's click on this image here. If I drag it and I drop it into this top left cell, you can see nothing happens. So what you actually need to do is to find your file. Let's just condense this down so you can see what I'm doing. So I've just pulled up my files and I'm just gonna click on images. Now you can see at the bottom, it doesn't have the insert or cancel icons. So I've just opened these files. So now if I then click on an image and drag and drop it to that top left, it will actually insert it. So it's inserted it into the table, but it's taken the shape and form that the picture dictates, not the table dictates. So let's just delete that image. And now what we want to do is create a cell the size of the picture that we want. So what we're going to do is click on this cell at the top. We're going to merge it with this cell as well. Go to layout and go to merge cells. And here we have height. So I'm going to extend the height of my cell to five centimeters and press enter. And now I've got a reasonable size for my image. Now, if I try to insert it now, it still will blow across the page as it did before. So we've just got to do a few things first. So if our cursor is in this cell, let's right click, go down to table properties, go to row, and it says row height here is at least. Click on the drop down and make sure it's checked to exactly. So it's now exactly five centimeters and that won't move. Click OK. Now to fix the width here, if you go up to auto fit, we're in the layout tab, click on the drop down and go down to fix column width. So now we fix the height and we fix the width. So if we go back to our files, and now if we drag and drop an image into our table, you can see it fits perfectly in that cell. Now we can do exactly the same with these two cells. The height is already fixed because we fixed the height of this row. So if we just select these two cells, go back up to auto fit and then fix the column width, we can again go to our pictures and we can insert an image into here and an image into here and you can see they fit perfectly. Now, just to make sure these pictures are in the center of these cells, is we can select these cells across the top, just click and drag across the cells, go to layout, go to this icon here, which is center align, and the images will be centered. Now at the moment, there's not much of a margin at the top and the bottom of these cells. You can see there is to the left and right, but not to the top and the bottom. So if you want to add a margin, click on the whole cell. This will actually apply to the entire table. Right click, go down to table properties, go down to options, and then in default cell margins, you can put the top margin the same as the side margins. So 0.19, and then again, the bottom margin, 0.19. Click OK, click OK again. And now you can see there's a lovely space around the entirety of that image. Now, if you wanted something smaller, let's say in this cell, so without actually changing the height manually, you can actually do it by using the cursor. If you click on the line, you can see my cursor changes, click on the line and pull that line down we can actually choose the height of our cells visually. So I'm gonna try and make this a square, roughly about this size. Let's just pull that down a little bit more. And then I can, by selecting these two cells, just move this line over to the left if I want to. And then I can move this line up, and I can create this small square here. And once again, I can select this row and fix the column width. And once again, right click, go down to table properties, 
go to row and then click exactly, press OK and now this one's a square, let's put that one in, there we go, that fits perfectly in that cell there and that leaves this cell here. Now if this cell is a bit too long because not many photographs are actually this shape, what you can do is split this cell. So if you select it, go to layout and click on split cells, make sure the number of columns is two and click OK and you can see now we have split that cell into two. And you can put two more images in here or you can just move this line over. Oops. You have to highlight both cells either side of the line. Move that across if you want to. If you want them all to be equal, you can actually highlight them all. Go to distribute columns equally and there you'll have an equal set of cells. Okay, so I've inserted these images and you can see they're not quite centered. So I'm gonna select this whole row and go back to center. So I'm just gonna grab this bottom row here, or this bottom line here and drag that down. And then let's say we want a much larger image here. We can actually merge all of these cells here. Go to merge. I'm gonna do the same to these cells as well. Go to merge cells. Select this cell here, right click go to table properties, go to row and then make sure it's exactly, click OK and then go to auto fit again and fix your column width. Let's go to this image here and then again we're going to make sure it's in the middle, make sure it's centered and then here you can just add some text. So if we just add some random text in here, there we go, that's all centered. You see how your text will lie as well. That's all centered into the middle, but of course, if you want this text up to the top, you can choose any of these icons here, top left, top, middle, centered, however you want that text to lie. Now, if you're happy with all of the images, but you don't want these lines around the outside, all you need to do is select the table by clicking this top left square, go to table design, go to borders, click on the drop down and simply select no borders and then those lines will disappear. But the table itself is there. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day. <laughs>